Let's do some SQL coding today. This question was asked in an Amazon interview. In this question, they are asking, list the IDs of customers who made at least three orders in 2020 and 2021. So there are a couple different approaches that I'm going to show you how I'm going to approach this problem. And as always, uh, the best thing is to always look at the table, what you have. So right now we have a table called Amazon orders. So let's see what we have inside. I always do this Amazon orders. Okay. So this is an order table. And as you can see, we have different order dates, total user IDs that made the purchase and these, uh, this ID column, which is, is a primary key, I think. So, and you can also see the metadata on the left here. So we have four of these columns and in the question they're asking, list the IDs of customers who made purchases in the year 2020 and 2021. So you can have one customer buying three or more products in one year and not in the second year. We need to find people who did order in both years. Um, so the first approach that I'm going to take is using uh, something called intersect. So it's pretty simple approach, actually the first one. And I think that's the one you should go for. That's my opinion. So what I'm going to do here is let's do select star from Amazon orders. And obviously I need to extract the year from this date here. So I'm going to do, how do you do that actually in SQL? So you do that using something called date part. So date part. And if you specify year and you second argument is order date, that's the field. So it's going to, ex it's going to extract the year from the date. So for example, for this one here, it's going to extract 2020 out of this date. Um, and let's say we want it for 2020 and let's run this first. Let's see what we get. Okay. Nice. So we get this here and just to show you, I'm going to, I'm actually going to copy this. So this will give us all the date parts or all the years extracted from that date. Okay. So I just wanted to show you how it's done. Um, let's bring the star back. This will give us all the columns and now let's do a group by on this. So group by user ID and having so whenever you're using group by you can also use having right because now we need to filter on that group group rows having um let's say count star um greater than equals three why greater than equals three because they need at least three orders so at least means um include three as well so three and more okay so it can be three four five and so on so having count star greater than equals three. I just want to see what we're going to get. Okay. Yeah. I am using a star here, but, uh, let's include user ID and I'm also include, I just want to see the count as well. Right. So let's see. Perfect. So we have these three user IDs that made purchases in the year 2020. Um, the count is three, five and four. Um, so let's do something similar for the year 2021. So I'm just going to replace that with 2021 and I'm just going to select this and run. And as you can see, we have these three rows here as well, uh, 202, 203, 205. And if I have to, if I have to, um, if I have to find the IDs of customers who made purchases in both years, that means in, they need to exist in 2020 table and they also need to exist in 2021 table. So for that, I use some something called intersect and this is going to give me exactly what I need for this question. So let's just run this. Oh, interesting. I'm not getting anything because the counts obviously are, are different. Let's remove the count because I only need the user ID, right? And now let's run this. Nice. So as you can see, um, the user ID 205 and user ID 203, they both made purchases in the year 2020 and 2021. We can confirm that actually. Let's look at 205 first and then 203. So let's confirm that by this. As you can see, they made purchase in 205 
in 2020 the the user id 205 made a purchase and if i run here for 2021 205 is still there and same for 203 by the way right so these two user ids existed in both years and when we did an intersect uh we got those those same matching ids so this is the simplest approach in my opinion uh, there's a one more approach that i'm going to show you real quick uh, so i'm going to remove all this here or i can just keep it let's check the solution here first as you can see user id 205 and 203 that's the correct solution so now to show you one more approach how you're going to solve this problem is what i'm going to be doing is i'm actually going to be using cte common table expression and i'm going to be uh, doing or using a self join after that so let me show you my approach this is a second approach if you want to stick with the intersect approach that's totally fine as well so let's do select user id uh, let me first print the table amazon orders okay and let's do that date part thing i was doing before so date part i need the year extracted from that date right what's the it's the order date column and let's see what we get okay that's good um let's do a group by on this okay so group by you can do one or two uh, I just like being descriptive. That's why I'm doing this way. Um, and also let's do a count. So this way we will see the count. So like this user ID made this and this, this much purchase in that year. So, so uh, you're seeing, for example, U204 made a purchase in 2019, count one. U204 made two purchases in 2018 and so on. Um, what else i'm going to do is now i'm going to filter this up this result uh, based on this condition here who made at least three orders so let's remove all these one twos and stuff like that and let's do count star greater than equal three and this should give us all the orders there are at least three okay. now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put this thing in uh, CTE so let's say uh, with CTE one as wrap that in that so that's our CTE right that's our CTE and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna do a self join so I'm going to do um, I don't know let's select star from CTE one as a inner join i'm going to join it back again to that table that cte table as b and let's specify an on condition here on what's the commonality between those two let's do it on user id so a dot user id equals b dot user id um, where a dot date part equals 2020 and b dot date part equals 2021 and let's see what we get okay that looks good so what's happening here is i i had this uh, uh the cde and I'm using that CTE to do a self join. Um, I labeled the first table again as A and the second one as B. And I'm doing a join on the user IDs where the year A dot part is 2020 and the B dot part is 2021. Um, and that way we have these two user IDs. For the answer to be accepted, they only are asking for user ID, right? So let's just do user ID and let's just do a dot user id yeah and let's see oh nice so two or three two or five and there you have it so this is the second way this is a second um, approach that you can use to solve this problem